how do I render inside of SolidWorks? There's a, a number of different ways to do it. If you just have SolidWorks standard, the easiest uh, kind of rendering option that we have is just to use RealView Graphics. RealView Graphics has come a long way. Uh, you can see we get nice shiny representation for some of our metal components here uh, inside of SolidWorks. Uh, and then we have our materials listed here, our appearances, so I can go ahead and grab say an appearance for any of my parts and I can drag and drop that onto a face, part, whatever I want, uh, change the appearance of just that part compared to the rest. And then I can change what my background looks like. So I can go into say a courtyard and pan this around, say it's in the ground in the middle of my courtyard, right? So, um, so we can use real view graphics to get a nice, I guess, shaded, somewhat rendered image with real view graphics. Okay, a nice one if we're doing that is we can turn on ambient occlusion. And what that does is you can see that gets even a little better. The parts cast shadows upon themselves. So uh, that's a nice one, a nice way to get a nice shaded image just out of standard SolidWorks. Okay. So uh, if I'm using SolidWorks Professional, there's a couple different options. We still have in here under add-ins, we have something called um, Photo View 360. This will allow me to create a rendering inside the SolidWorks window. Okay. So we now have a render tools icon here, and we also have in my uh, display manager, we have extra options for my scene, lights, and cameras. I can go ahead and add, say, a camera. You know, what? where do I want this looking? And then where do I want the camera placed? You know, I can click and drag a lot of these things around. Okay, get this appearing the way that I want it to appear, maybe point the camera to more towards the middle. Get this the way that I want it looking. So there's a camera. And again, all my appearances are still drag and drop right from the task pane here. I can drag and drop all my appearances and scenes in. And then when I'm done, I can go ahead and hit uh, render and allow it to render. So I can render inside of Photo View 360. I can add lights. Okay. Same way I added a camera. I can add cameras that I want it to look at. And then go ahead and hit render. I'm not an artistic person, nor have I taken any photo <coughs> photography courses, uh, but uh, you know, I can still create um, pretty nice images uh, with Photo 360. We also have inside of SolidWorks um, something called SolidWorks Visualize. Okay, Visualize comes with uh, SolidWorks Professional as well, and it allows me to do a little more realistic renderings uh, on SolidWorks geometry and you know, really any geometry uh, inside of another tool. Okay. So let's go ahead and open up my project here. And then in the same way, I have kind of environments that I can switch. And I can also download some of these. So if I want, say, a retail store, I can drag and drop a retail store environment out here. And you can see I'm now kind of getting reflections for the retail store, reflections on the material. You can see the nice shadowing I'm getting from that. Um, I have the same appearance type functionality. So here are the appearances that came over from my model. But I can also add appearances, you know, to to my model right from here so we can drag and drop these material appearances right out onto the model to change colors, things like that. Um, and then go ahead again and select render to get, uh, to get this output and create some nice, you can see with just a couple changes here, I can get a bunch of different rendered images of my uh, Raspberry Pi. So visualize is another way that we can render inside of SOLIDWORKS.